Ah, well, while meat is definitely the correct theme for Dungeon Town, I kind of find it funny that he just rolls it into a ball and calls that a thing, this was definitely a missed opportunity, because this should have been a monster. We need monster people. <sighs> okay, well, anyway, let's see. So I won by a large margin. We now have Meatball and a spare, I guess. Also, I got vinegar from that challenger. So, hooray, vinegar and asparagus. <laughs> what will we cook up next? Danger Town by Tiffany Taft. Oh, wait a second. I didn't read. Ah, crud. Uh, uh, okay, let's see. Tonk. Crud. Well, we'll have to catch up what his description was next time. We've missed out on it for now. Let's see. Oh, uh, better, better do that. Okay. All right. All is well at these new locations. Better go ahead and drop some advertisements. I'm not going with anything expensive right now uh, because I'm thinking of actually pupiling up as I gain more and more areas here the pupil bonuses look more and more attractive and of course I get more medals by going back through them uh, how many areas have we plowed through so far 19 out of 30. I think I can do another one now. Okay, let's see. So now we've got this meat. Uh, where is my first, let's see, bitter chicken. Uh, food on the geary. I'm gonna drop fruit number eight so that I can toss my meatball into the mix. Hmm. Only one kind of meat. The generic meat. Not beef, not chicken, not a... No, just meat. Did it used to be a rat? Did it used to be a bat? We don't know. <laughs> but we're selling it. All right. Then. Danger Town. Not the best place to live in. There are traps everywhere and people die every day. But some people are attracted to danger, so it has quite the population. Alright, and the specialty is. Vegetarian? For Danger Town? Huh. Okay. I was surprised. I was expecting something involving, I don't know, more meat. I mean, what are all the traps for then? Oh well. So, let's see. Tiffany Daft. She learned how to cook at age 17. Now she's 18 and already good at it. Oh well, yeah, I've been a pupil of, of the great chef for, well, since I was like two. I've been learning cooking there my entire life. Your mashed potatoes are no match for my cheese salad. I think my cheese salad has like a bajillion secrets too. Hm. It's just called mashed potatoes, but I can see, clearly see there's more on that plate than just potato. Anyway, um... Uh, I'm clearly winning, but as we've established in the past, that does not necessarily mean a lot. I mean, it matters when you're dealing with challengers. Then you can worry about these numbers more uh, because of just the way it works. But uh, for these, I, I, I can never tell what the judges are going to do until they do it. I mean, I guess I could figure out how to calculate all that doesn't like this, likes, likes that kind of thing. I wish... 
I mean, the game's still fairly early in its development. There's a ton of things I could wish for, but, you know, they probably all will happen, or something else that invalidates them. So I don't want to get too persnickety about this game, but I definitely feel like there should be more variety in the dishes that I make. By a ridiculous margin again! How far will I glide? Oh, hey, milk! That's a critical one. How far will I get? Huh, the mashed potatoes is only $1,600 per plate! Is that all? So... Uh, I always go with two chefs and three waiters. For some reason, I just always do that. And that's pretty much always what's offered to me, so, you know. All right. All right. So, last thing to do, we'll throw some advertisements out there. Okie dokes. Sunny Town. Still haven't found Big Town. It took away all the sun from rainy area. Too bad that it never rains here, so people die of thirst quite often. Drinks. Specialty drinks. This is a mid-sized town. You often see quite a few people on the streets. Jim Eater. He really likes to cook. He likes to eat even more. So customers often complain about he ate their dish. That jerk. Also, um, once again, I should be poking the grammar. But I won't. His total stats are inferior, but his recipe research and ingredient quality are just so superior to mine right now. This might be as far as I get. But yeah, no, I'm definitely ready to rebirth now. Oh my gosh. Also, I mean, just another nitpicky thing. I feel like these different pets should like different... It, it should be like like salty things, or Light Fairy should like sweet things, Golden Dragon, I don't know, maybe spicy things, whatever, you know, it, 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 why am I feeding them dishes if it's, you know, if these stats, surely these stats should matter, right? I don't know. Anyway, I can't wait to unlock another one of these things, but I don't see myself getting any tokens to unlock them with anytime soon. I mean, a fire fairy would be nice. It will also enable meditation as mascot. That would be huge. Well, okay, it would be nice. It'd be nice. This here, every time I feed it a dish, that dish gets a secret. I mean, man, that would be good. And it's just... These pets are so much more interesting than the ones in Idling to Rule the Gods. I mean, I just, I don't know what to say. They're just so interesting, so, so much more. In many ways, in many ways, this is a superior version of Idling to Rule the Gods, but it's still early and it's still missing a lot of its ingredients. And there are still some things that, that need to be ironed out. Which is kind of what I inspect, expected. But since I've invested such a tremendous amount of time in idling to rule the gods, I plan to stick with that one. I mean, that one's still getting upgrade updates anyway, so, you know. Yeah. If only. Do I really have to wait three more days? Okay. And what is the ingredient of Eggtown that we're fighting over? An egg battle, I mean, obviously. Of course it would be. It's sunny town. And my sunny side up eggs are, uh. 
not competing very well with the egg sandwiches. Just stuck around to continue to motivating me. Oh my gosh, am I actually going to have ones I didn't finish cooking? Oh. Oh. Holy crap, he is five times... Wow. Okay. That's probably where we get. Hmm. Yeah, sunny side up eggs is no good at all. No good at all. <sighs> I've tried a couple times to make something. <laughs> Egg 28 is a combination of minus 6. I should just get rid of that one. Hmm. Oh crap, I don't even have any researches on any egg thing anymore. That's how thoroughly I've been disregarding eggs. Alright. Well, let's see, turkey, turkey, hmm. but you prefer chicken, yeast, sausage, ah, uh, all right, let's go ahead and throw a little turkey in. Where turkey and chicken have been. Now it's looking like that. Ah, uh, pepper. Hmm. All right. What are we looking at? A 56 on the old combination, huh? But... So that gives us a pretty good combination score. What do I have to do to make it actually good? Eh, yeah. Can't go with too much spice. Alright. More egg in our egg. Maybe less flour. Whoops, too far. Because it's because we're we're changing the ratio so that there's more spice relative to the uh, stuff. There's always that point where it just suddenly drops. Spices always seem to do that. Hmm. Is the game patched? Was the game just patched within the last like day or so? Hmm. Oh well. All right. Now that we have... Ah! Why are my super eggs at the... Well, I mean, we're asking quality. Oh, the chocolate omelette was a 54, but it has a higher taste to it. And it's more bitter. My super eggs here are actually... I think kind of inferior. Hmm. I should just get the chocolate omelette in here somewhere to be researched. But in place of what? I kind of need all these things. Rice with chocolate sauce actually sees use. 
Salmon chowder. I don't know, man. I need more. I need a fifth one. I need these to go deeper. I'm going to give it bitter chicken's place because I need the super eggs. I need them. Need. Okay, if I get these up, if I get these up to a decent amount, I might be able to take this place. And if I could take Sunnytown, well, wouldn't that just be lovely? I think it'd be nice. Cost for the ingredients. Better and healthier. Hmm. Hmm. Would hatch serving healthier food increase the populations? Hmm. Probably not. Alright, well, anyway, I guess I'm just going to give my super eggs a little time and give it another try. I lost by five fold. But I mean, with zero research and just the old sunny side up ones, I mean, what can I really expect? Is the quality going up? Now it's 13.9. Right, of course it is. Okay. Of course it is. Here I was thinking of it being quality research just being the number here. It's impacting this number. Now I understand why I was thinking, why are all of my recipes only giving me a, uh, what was it? 12.1. What's going on? Because I know I was making things with a higher number than this before. And here's my answer. Because the research of quality literally impacts this number, not just this one. Okay, because I thought I thought these were being factored in. Like, but no, it's a direct impact up here. Am I making any sense or am I just completely confusing? I can't even tell anymore. But anyway. Best recipe, research 13, working its way up. Yeah, 21 versus your 41. Hmm. Research is getting kind of slower. My stats are better than his. How close do I have to get? Uh, how close must I be to defeat you, Mr. Eater? Then we can rebirth, gather more to cooking metals, and be awesome. Actually, I'm not even sure if I should rebirth. Even for tripling my stats, it still took a long time to get up to this point. I don't know. Would it be faster to just continue chewing through? Hmm. A long run, perhaps? Perhaps. Oh, good. I should change you to Danger Town, because holy crap, does, do people at Danger Town willing to spend a fortune? My gosh, so much money. There we go. Am I able? Hold on, I've never tried. I figure it's best to just keep this going because it gives me a pupil uh, pupil bonus. Can I? Oh, nope, it replaced it. I was wondering if I could have multiple things be the mascot for the same place. The answer is nope. Okay, just wondering. Just wondering. I figured there 
and and, and there's no upgrade that changes the num the limit of how many you can have on one restaurant. So anyway, still working. Nineteen out of nineteen. Probably not good enough yet. But I'll get this guy yet. Your egg sandwiches are no match for Mark's super eggs. Yeah, I've been at this guy for a while. This is like my fourth attempt to beat him. But I'm sure I have it this time. I'm certain. I'm positive I've got him this time. I've got him on the ropes. Mm. And now, with the power of an egg... Ooh, pineapple! I've been hoping to get a pineapple. I know, of all things. I've been specific, specifically hoping for a pineapple for a while. I'm not sure why, but... Oh, only a 20 on the taste. But look at that. Six sweet and three sour. Mmm... Six on sweet, matching a banana, but in addition to that, it's also sour. I guess that's how you could describe the taste. Huh. Uh, yeah. I figured it was going to have good stats. All right. Anyway, we got Sunnytown, and we're finally ready to rebirth. More importantly, I now have this thing. Oh my gosh. Pineapple. Oh, so many ingredients. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Anyway, next time I come up to here, I'll be able to match egg sandwich to egg sandwich. I won't have to use these stupid eggs again. I, I'm not the... I mean, my super eggs are amazing. And I'll... Um, yeah, okay. They're they're all right, I guess. All right. So the next time I'll be facing Ice Town. Thousands of years ago, there was a beautiful lady, the Ice Queen. She owned this place and turned everything into never melting ice. Oh, well, that was nice of her. You ever actually read the story of the Ice Queen by Hans Christian Andersen? Hans Christian Andersen? Blech. Yeah. It is the most Disney story ever written. And a lot of things about it are amazing and freaking weird. I wish somebody would make a movie about it. With a mysterious evil ice queen at war with volcanoes and just other things we're just like oh yeah the tops of mountains are frozen but a volcano yeah it's weird it, it makes a sort of kind of sense in a way and why exactly she abducts this child and brainwashes him and I, 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 it's just weird man and the, the main character is a girl that spends the entire story uh, trying to pr trying to rescue rescue the boy <laughs> the entire time and goes through all kinds of shit to get to, to get to him and rescue him it was a weird story man but anyway uh, also it had talking animals and all the other things one would expect from Disney but it was the most Disney story ever. It's amazing. Alas. Okay, let's see. So, first we gotta feed real fast. Uh oh. I need to wait another 2%. I wanna get that one more feeding in. Uh, I won't have to wait that long. Just 2% of a day not too long then I will re retire and make the next feller the next feller hmm well I'll have a little time to think about who it'll be 
I saw that the next one was drinks and decided maybe I want to put off my uh, pupillage just a little longer because I'm really good at making drinks. And I'm really good at making drinks, okay? It's the one thing we can do really well, even if the image looks kind of wrong for pumpkin spice coffee. I assure you, it's it's pumpkin spice coffee on that plate. I mean, we are just... Yep. Yep. I got the coconut. <laughs> and I have a drink that I have no use for. Seriously. <laughs> this is like... It's like, here, the one thing you're good at is next. Holy shit. Well, I guess we gotta do this. <laughs> All right. Did I even... I didn't. Huh. At the egg sandwich place. I was wondering why I had so many options for uh, waiters and chefs. All right. Wasn't that nice? Mangat <laughs> Mangatown, okay. All the people here like to draw and read mangas. It is said to be the origin of mangas. Some of the houses are even built out of mangas. I see. Okay. All right, then. He once jumped down from a thousand meter high mountain. He survived, and since then people call him Freefall. Oh, I didn't check the last one. Crap, I mean, I wasn't, ex you know, like, it was just such a surprise to see drinks. I was just like, shit, I'm pouncing on that. All right, so, how are we doing on this? Almost, almost ready for our pupillage. Man. Twenty-two... Only eight left. And now this growth is looking just better and better. Okay, well, anyway. Hmm. That also means more cooking metals on the next go around. And all right, let's take a peek at our new recipe. Oh, I mean, I suppose I could look at this, too. All right, I already did. Ah, uh, The game seems to think that the coconut drink is better than my pumpkin spice coffee. But I know that can't be right because this has a hundred a hundred research and this only has fifty fifty in this one. Also, this has a combination of zero, a taste of fifteen. Yeah no. Also this weighs like so much more. No, I, I do not believe for a second that coconut drink is superior to my pumpkin spice coffee. Okay, I'm going to stop bragging about how great I am at drinks and how I can beat somebody when it turns out all they did was split a coconut. And that was it. Yeah, okay, never mind. Wow, that restaurant. Wow, that restaurant. Well, they only served the highest quality coconuts, I guess. Oh, good, we can finally start feeding. You deserve a whole chicken. All of it, the whole thing. Just, just shove the entire chicken in this little tiny fairy's belly. I am suddenly terrified of this little tiny piranha. This little flying thing that can eat a hundred times its body weight in a sitting. All right, and we got our cooking metal. And we are... All right, I'm curious. It's faster if I just do this. Chili soup versus spicy meatball. I see. We're back to the spiciness, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. It's fine. 
I just wanted to look. Yes. Well, what shall our next feller be? Hmm. Let's see. We've had Jack. We've had Mark. Uh. Grumps. Obviously, that'd be the next. <laughs> I mean, I'll never be able to make this person look like any particular person. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Do I have a pants that matches this shirt? I guess that'll have to do. Yeah, that kind of works. We'll take the glasses off. What? Didn't I just name you? He's really got to fix this. All right, grumps. I like how it's already started doing the trainings before I even get get to here. Okay, so now these they're starting there. Their build up. Both meditating. All right. Working our way up from the bottom again. But I really am thinking, what if I just did quality this time? Hmm? That won't affect the recipes I've already made, will it? I have so many ingredients to work with now, though. Hmm. But how much would it take to get a quality that's good enough? Wouldn't I rather just have more research speed? Well, research speed is powerful. I don't know. Really? In a vacuum, pizza is the best dish that I have when I have no researches in play at all. Pizza is my best dish. Now that is interesting. Hmm. I feel kind of terrible if I waste the entire night with no research getting done, but I'm not going to stay up to get to the point where I can make enough money to really afford the researches. And having all my research zeroed and then taking out as many restaurants as possible in that state would help me figure out what dishes are good and what dishes are not at this point. Hmm. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set the themes down to just 10. And I'll just leave the researches and they'll just plow through the themes just fine. They'll be able to afford that much at least, I hope. If I get just a couple restaurants, which should be easy. Unfortunately, they take two minutes a piece. I wish I could f speed that up. But I don't have any of the fast battle thingies. I think when I get, in a couple of days, when I get to the new week and get the new weekly bonus, I might just be able to do the winning run right off. Or maybe I'm seriously underestimating the difficulties involved. Who knows? Okay. Better fruit plates gone. We switched into these, did we? But not the pizza. Well. Hmm. Even though the pizza's the best in a contest, when you have no specialty, these are the dishes that make the most money. Now that's really interesting. Is it about the onion salad that makes it so good? It's vegan. The spicy onion is spicy. We have a drink. And we have a dessert. <laughs> Calling that a dessert. I guess it's a dessert. I don't know. It's just honey. <laughs> it still cracks me up. Okay. Now that we're making almost no money. <clears throat> yeah, I, 
can beat your white rice. I can beat your white rice to death. All right, anyway. <sighs> After another day or so of challengers and unlocking more stuff, we'll see where we are then. Okay, we are ready to progress once again. Manga Town, you're mine! <clears throat> but first... Let's see, how many can I get with a billion, two billion with which to spend? I can easily go up a hundred on all of these, which is freaking amazing. Bonk. Bonk. I could go up more, or I could save some of this money for spending on upgrades to my restaurants and things. Look at how much Ice Town produces. It's crazy. Wonder if Manga Town's gonna pay more. No, probably not. They probably spend all their money on manga. It's an expensive habit. <coughs> Just like collecting anime is a really expensive habit if you want all the DVDs. All right. There's no way that you're, you can possibly handle my spicy onions. Look at this. I'm slaughtering him. I wish I could see its stats during the fight so I could be like, Hey, look! Oh, well. Ah, hmm. Wait, the select button is still on. I could change dishes in the middle of a fight. The tastes of the judges are irrelevant. Mostly because I don't have enough... I, I only generally have one good dish in most categories. <laughs> it's like... <coughs> one, one that I've actually put the researches and stuff into... And the thing is, like, every time you do a contest, oops, it gives you random judges. So you can't, like, you can't research a dish specifically for a contest. Because you don't know what you're up against. It's just, yeah. So I don't know. I don't, I, all, all I can do is just figure, I can't help the doesn't likes. But I could just try to get as much into the spicy, sweet, bitter, and so on. Uh, just try to get those numbers as high as possible and cross my fingers and hope I don't get a bunch of judges that just hate everything. Like Teresa here. She doesn't like anything except spicy. Which is good because we're in a spicy food contest. She doesn't actually like spicy food. It's just the only thing she doesn't hate. I should hope I'd won. Huh, mushrooms. Cosplay town. Oh, really? See a lot of people walking around in funny costumes. Nobody wears anything normal. Yeah, I know. I mean, look at this costume. Gah. What is he supposed to be? <laughs> well. I wonder what we're in for here. She really likes flowers, especially orchids. You know, some flowers are edible. I'm willing to bet I could make a dish out of them. I mean, I mean, with stats like this, I mean, he's, he's kind of a super chef. You'd think he'd be able to figure out how to cook things that other people wouldn't expect and make them taste good. He's got a lot of experience, too. What way does it affect all my abilities to cook? By how much? Oh well, I'm gonna feed my mascots. Hmm, spicy meatball looks like it's got pretty good stats. I'm gonna wanna check that. I also have been wondering if I shouldn't just use my fairy as an additional mascot. Um, I mean, I want its pupil bonus to be as high as possible, but its bonus grows so slowly after a while, I can't help but feel like I should just, just, just dump it into a restaurant. 
Oh, hmm, that can't be good. Perhaps a menu would help. My gosh, he's expensive. What makes him think he's worth that kind of cash? Oh, well, then again, I'm worth a lot more than that cash, so I guess. That's what I have to pay to keep him around, huh? I think I was pay bringing them up to level four? Yeah. What if I wanted them to be level five? It's not that expensive. Not compared to the kind of cash I have these days. I've been thinking about picking up a sixth staff member. I think it's time I did that. Okay. Now... I have nobody I can hire. Okay. All right. Let's try something. I need to pay a fee to fire them? Why do I need to pay $12,000 to fire somebody that only makes 400 bucks a, a, a tick? That doesn't seem right. All right, so I fired somebody from a less profitable restaurant. Now I come over here, and I hire her on here, where she kind of sucks compared to the quality of the chefs in this place. Hmm. How does that help? Definitely helps! Okay. So I can continue sn sniping off these guys. And really, there should just be a button that just says transfer. There. Okay. Alright. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to mascot you to Manga Town. Naturally, Manga Town needs to advertise. Doot. There we go. All right. All right. So. Yeah. Yes, this is good. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Anytime I want to increase the number of employees, since I can't just hire more people, apparently. There's thousands of people here. Maybe in the cosplay town, there'll be a whole bunch of people that want to be, I don't know, working at cosplay restaurants. Oh my gosh, this has to be a cosplay-themed restaurant, actually. That's one of the options. Ah. Or I could just say, go to work in your casuals. Because in this place, that would be cosplay. All right, let's see. Ah. Uh, vegan. Vegan. Pumpkin cream soup. I wonder what that's made out of. Well, it's no match for my onion salads. She doesn't stand a chance. She thinks she has a chance. She doesn't. It's good to be making progress again. Oh my gosh. So we got mushrooms. I have, I have so many things. I got eels now. I've got all kinds of stuff that I can work with. I actually did put a little bit of... Uh, I did up my quality a little bit. Um, not sure how much that's really helping. It's, it's really hard for me to tell exactly what that did. But I think my restaurant started making more money when I did that. A, a little bit. But I can't help but feel like I should have put that into uh, the number of ingredients I can include in a dish. I really feel like... like 
I've got so many ingredients, butter, honey, all kinds of things. If I could increase the number of ingredients I could include in a dish, I feel like I could make much more potent combinations. But I, I'm not entirely... Like you'd think more ingredients would be more preparation time, but I don't know. I'm not 100% sure how it all... My gosh, you only made nine of them. You made an actual soup. I'm just cutting up onions and throwing them in a bowl. <laughs> Actually, there's more to the onion salad than that, but still. <coughs> okay. I lost? Are you kidding? Good grief. Why did I lose? Well, let's take a look. My stats are a match for her stats. Recipe research. Okay. Ingredient quality again. Always that ingredient quality. Like I said, I upped it some, but not a lot. Research. Really wish I had more research. Man, how am I supposed to overcome this? It would only double me. It's not worth doing. And the research doesn't even get better to speak of. <sighs> Alright, I've been working on my spicy onion. I need to switch over to the onion salad. I want to do everything here, but alright, we'll do this. <clears throat> Bringing up to 80, that'll be a start. I could also really use a third and a fourth research. As well as research. I mean, I just need cooking metals. See, I was thinking about it. At this point, I get 23, and it takes me about 24 hours to get this far, okay? Give or take. I'd be slightly better at it, but still, that would be 22 cooking metals within that period. Between the uh, challengers and the... Um, uh, Golden Dragon, I'm already getting a lot of cooking metals in a day. Uh, still, if I were to pupil every day, I'd get more than double. I could more than double it. On the other hand, if I just keep pressing, I can get these bonuses to be higher, <clears throat> and I can gain new territory. So much cash coming in now. Just need to press press seven deeper. Just seven deeper. What would I do with cooking metals? With twenty two additional cooking metals. I could try for the axe ingredients. I could up these by just one each. That wouldn't do much. Let me see. That would be about enough to get another. No, it wouldn't. Current research is. <sighs> this is a 45 here. I really want more cooking metals, but I don't know that they'll make that big a difference. You know? Also, I figured out how to get one lucky draw a day by not collecting this bag until this gets up to like eight. Until th this turns green when you get higher than eight. And uh, every time I've done it, I get, I get a cooking metal, a lucky draw, and a kiss. You know, you know that kiss is important, right? All right, so... And fairy dust that I can't purchase anything with. 
I could almost purchase a lucky draw. Mm. Why is the oh? Because it's twenty-five. Oh, okay, okay, all right. That that makes sense. <sighs> well, yeah, another day. Assuming this all stays green. I can't think of any reason why it should, but in a day and 10 hours, I should be able to pick up another collection. I don't know if the reward ever changes, but just getting the research and training potion, then I would rebirth, spend my lucky draws, and hopefully, <coughs> well, we'll see. I should pupil at least one more time between now and then, shouldn't I? I'm really torn. I really want to just hit this now, but I also don't want to. <sighs> All right, I think I think I will yes let's do it all right who's next ah uh, who is next let's see we've done Jack Mark Grumps oh, hmm. there and nobody has any idea what he looks like, unless they do. So I'm gonna say he looks -a like a. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks like what he. Oh, of course. That's exactly how he dressed all the time. Can I get something? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's doggone it, game. <laughs> Every time. Thought I saw a patch had been done, but apparently this wasn't what that patch corrected. Okay. Well, look at that. Hmm. I'm just going to set auto progress. Is there a way I can increase exploring speed? Oh, well. Yeah. Unfortunately, these get reset. Oh, we haven't even begun to research. Now I've got, I've made, I should make a few new dishes and see if I can't replace, um, see if I can't replace, uh, really, the pizza's the highest quality thing? Hmm. I was saying, see if I can't replace some of these. I just made a new thing, and it's in here somewhere. What was it? Oh well. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some more stuff. And uh, this is how I test to see what's good when they have no researches at all. I make them and I throw them in the restaurants. Now, of course, it's a little bit messed up because uh, there are secrets and that throws, you know, that'll favor certain dishes. But most of them don't have a lot of secrets unless they're a ridiculously good dish. Like, uh, I mean, like, uh, where is, like, my spiced coffee, which only has three? Okay, never mind. Just random crap has a ton of secrets. Okay, fine. Right then. Anyway, I'm going to play around and try to make a bunch more recipes. We'll test them in the restaurant, see what sticks, and uh, that'll become my new research menu. In the meantime, I think they can research the themes. Hmm. 
Now I'm just going to make a crap ton of things. I suppose I haven't used auto-create in a while. What happens when I ask auto-create? Oh, pineapple, lemon, red pepper, and dill. Ugh. Pineapple was, was right. I should put ice in this. Combination zero. Two. I think that the random auto-create is no longer a way to make good dishes. I think I have too many ingredients. Oh, hell no. This thing? No. No, you get rid of that. Is this restaurant not making a profit right now? We gotta make some money. Definitely don't want to be in the red. Okay, anyway. Uh, well, let's let's see if we can start. So they've had a good start with the pineapple. Sugar. Hmm. But if we're making a drink, don't we want ice? We could try to make a pina colada, but I don't think I, I don't have alcohol yet. Oh, you can have pina colada without alcohol, I guess. I suppose you could put lemon in it. You need ice. Where's ice? Tea? That doesn't seem right. No, we need sugar or honey. Let's see what this looks like. Wish I had more ingredients. So far, we've only got a combination of 22, but a pretty decent taste. It's sweet, it's sour, it's... Hmm. The lemon most increases the taste, but it makes it so much more sour. Oh, well. I can fix that. Hmm. Hmm. Testing out new drinks. How do you spell colada? I'll just assume that's how it's spelled. Oh my gosh, it could be many things. Okay, sour pina colada. So I'm going to create a ton of recipes and see if I can't come up with anything good. I'll test them all out and we'll see what new dishes stick. In the meantime, I really want to increase my max ingredients. I really do. Hmm. I wonder if I could improve my pumpkin spice. I wonder if I could make, because that's been my best dish for a long time. That and it's just honey. <laughs> I do best with drinks. I really do. Anyway. We'll see what cryotic can add. Oh my gosh. I should be working a lot of recipes with ice. <laughs> anyway. We'll see how this all turns out. We're already... Already advancing. I'll need to... I'll want to sprout... Maybe I'll spend more time training my staff this time. I'm not going to pupil again until I get a hold of this, this heap here, and I can do the research and training potions. Doesn't mean I have to instantly pupil the moment I, you know, get that, but I'm definitely not going to trigger it before that point. Well, we should research our drinks and eggs. I could make a drink with lots of eggs. Cake batter. Just, just a cup full of cake batter. It's a drink. Alright, anyway. 
Such tiny profits compared to what I was getting before. The interiors of these restaurants are not up to up up to my standards. All right, I'm gonna get to it. <laughs>